Uh, he's been healthy, you know, the whole time. He's had a good summer and uh, worked hard. He's ready to go. What did you feel like you got from Derek White, especially there in the second half? He's a really steady player. You know, he's a good shooter. He makes good decisions. He's a good passer. Uh, and he's got that pretty even keel uh, demeanor. And, Coach, uh, you said that um, all, most players, if not all, we're going to get some time um, on the court today. Can you um, tell us a little bit about what are your thoughts on perhaps the five starters next game? Oh, I don't know what the starters are next game. Uh, but we try to get as many guys in as we can so they get a chance to show us what they can do and see who's catching on. What did you think in general? I thought, I thought they were uh, aggressive, physical. Uh, we fouled a little bit too much, uh, turned it over in the first half a bit much. But all in all, they're trying to execute the things that we've been concentrating on in, in camp. Lonnie Walker still good group. sore. Yeah, he was, he was, his, uh, he was out. I'm saying, Derek, is, is it impressed you as a coach to see that he, he was aggressive, even with two dominant scorers like LaMarcus and DeMar out there, he still went and, and was aggressive attacking? Well, he's, uh, you know, he's got some skills, and uh, he had a great year uh, in the D League last year, and he's gotten to the point, you know, kind of like Corey Joseph did when he came through the, through the ranks, so to speak. And Derek's paid his dues, and uh, he's starting to understand and believe that he belongs, and it's starting to show on, on the court. What you like about that lineup that you put out there in the second half with? Uh, Yoke up and uh, Patty, and Derek running. Uh, I don't know what I liked and didn't and dislike. We just threw it out there. It wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, we just wanted to have different people in different positions and uh, let some different people play with LA and uh, see how they came together. Because that's one of the big things we've got to do is uh, see how people react to each other and what combinations seem to fit and which ones don't. What do you like about the Demar? Is he is he's going to get past that stage that? L.A. was when he first got here, that aggressive, when to be aggressive, when to be? Uh, you know, it, it's pretty much uh, a given that uh, team-oriented players, when they get into a situation like DeMar's in now, he's going to probably pick and choose a little bit. He's going to take his time, uh, get the lay of the land, figure out his teammates. Uh, and in that respect, I thought he was great. He looked for his stuff. He helped with his teammates. Uh, it was a great first outing for him. Marco looked like he just picked up where he left off in his system. Marco's Marco. You know, <laughs> he knows exactly what his role is and what he's supposed to do. He moves better than most players uh, in the league, and uh, he'll add a lot. What did Pirtle show you with the 10 boards? That. <laughs> you know, that's what he does. He's a, a worker, a runner, a worker, a rebounder. Uh, he's, he's a good, good uh Utility infielder. Does a little bit of everything and does it with aggressiveness, and he's just going to get better and better. Kyle Anderson, part two. Sorry? Kyle Anderson, part two. Yeah, well, the different positions. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you always are big on role players. Uh, that first lineup that you threw out there with uh, Yoko, uh, Bertans, and, and Bryn. Uh, what would you like from that unit? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a unit that uh, can score, you know. With, you know, with Jakob in the post and shooters all around, uh, it can be pretty interesting. So uh, we're blessed with some people who can put it in the basket, and uh, we want to put them in situations where they can use those skills. And, you know, Jakob being a role player doesn't need another basketball, so to speak. So it, it helps them.